Understanding Call to Arms, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into the phrase call to arms. This phrase is rich in history and meaning, and understanding it can greatly enhance your comprehension of English literature and speech. So, let's get started. The phrase, call to arms, originates from historical times when leaders would summon soldiers or civilians to take up arms, essentially preparing for battle. This was typically done through a literal call, such as a trumpet blast or a shouted command. Understanding this historical context helps us grasp the urgency and seriousness embedded in the phrase. In its literal sense, Call to arms refers to mobilizing for warfare or an armed conflict. However, in modern usage, it's more commonly used in a figurative manner. It signifies a rallying cry or an appeal to people to support a cause, stand up for a belief, or undertake a challenging task. It's about inspiring collective action towards a common goal. Let's look at some examples. 1. Historical Context The king's call to arms was answered by thousands of loyal subjects ready to defend their land. 2. Modern Figurative Use The environmental crisis is a call to arms for all of us to adopt sustainable practices. These examples illustrate how the phrase can be adapted to different contexts while maintaining its core essence of rallying and motivating people. A common mistake is to take call to arms too literally in modern contexts. Remember, in contemporary usage, it's rarely about physical combat. Instead, it's about motivation and action towards a nonviolent cause or objective. We hope this exploration of call to arms enriches your understanding of English expressions. Remember, Language is not just about words, but the history and emotion they carry. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content in our next video.